So it's a great honor to be invited to participate in this uh, announcement of a, a boat to Gaza, which is, as far as I'm concerned, a boat for peace, a boat to recognize the human rights violations that are occurring and the people living in Gaza. Um, it's, a, it's a shame that these countries who are part of the United Nations and are legally obliged to uphold the UN Charter arbitrarily make, de arbitrarily make decisions on how they will uphold that charter. And that charter, it says in its preamble, to practice tolerance and live together in peace with one another as good neighbors. And it's about time that the people in Gaza, and Palestinians, be able to live in peace. As others have said before me, it is about human dignity. It is about human justice. As an indigenous person who has had laws imposed upon us, have had uh, colonization and oppression, and still today colonization exists and assimilation policies exist, I can understand the frustration that people feel. We are judged, generalizations are made, by the actions of a few. This boat to Gaza is a significant signifier that the people who are in Gaza are human beings. And they have a right to be treated as human beings. And I uh, applaud those who are going on the boat to Gaza, to Gaza because they are putting their own lives uh, at risk in doing that. And that should signify to all of us that People are still willing to fight for justice. And as Martin Luther King said, and as Nicole has just mentioned, uh, injustice anywhere is injustice everywhere. And I want us to think about those children who are the most helpless in all this whole affair. We need to think about those children and how they will be affected and are being affected. We should always think about them and we should all learn about international human rights law and instruments, and that all states should be required to uphold them in the highest standards for dignity for all. So thank you very much, and uh, all the best to those traveling.